Let's go, Coach Pulley, the muscle architect, baby. Let's get after it, man. So this one, never saw the real truth of dating as a stripper. So let's hear what this fucking broad's got to say. All right, let's watch it together, man. How is dating like as a stripper? I mean, like, I... Does it change? <laughs> Do you not tell the dudes? I, no, I mean, I talk to dudes. It's like, I, I talk to dudes. I was seeing someone when I first started dancing. So I've dated a lot of strippers, but when they were done, I when I was like 21, 22, I dated a stripper at like night, but she was such a whore, drug addict stripper. And when I used to live my other life, like I used to deal with them, even they would hold stuff for me in apartments and um, things of that nature. So I guess you could call it dating them, but there was just like multiple of them living in an apartment and it was more of a business thing and I would pay their rent. But like actually like dating, like I want to be transparent with you guys, like taking your girl seriously or extra strippers and those girls are just you know they've been bought too many things they're spoiled and then they'll act like the submissive and sweet every stripper is different every girl is different but then truth then you see the true colors later their their perception of everything is fucked up because of the way guys are treating them any only fans stripper any of these things it's all bad what's worse stripper only fans probably only fans that's horrible i mean but a stripper is so gross it's like these guys groping all over them i mean i'm a stripper but no fuck So to my point though, I hope you could fucking hear this. I have been around strippers that was kind of like all I used to date, like be around and fuck, but like seriously dated like later now, like 27 and up, like when I was, I'm not in my old way of life, like a legal non-criminal only ex strippers like club girls but dated f i fucked a lot of them i was 21 22 like i said I, I, there was one i would see a lot like that i thought was my girl but she was just really such a young girl a whore. and then from like 21 to 26 there was a ton of them that like they held my stuff i paid their rent and it was just business but around them a lot so i do have a lot of experience yeah dating strippers <laughs> but it's like they it's like oh well fantasy of dating a stripper but it's like if you can't support her stripper lifestyle What's then fantasy? It's, she's right. hot. Everybody That's wants a, her. That's the fantasy, right? yeah. Like, everyone wants her. She just as hot girls that don't strip. They're throwing thousands of dollars at her. And, and then... And she wants that would be what the fantasy is. That everyone is paying together and she's going home with you. She gets a, yeah, like, she wants to. But it's like, I don't know. Like, Every I'm, time I walk in... Well, this girl's not even hot. In the strip club, I'm like, there's no chance. Like, I don't know. I automatically assume. Striking out. But you know, maybe if enough Percocet is involved, I can, you know. I can look. Dodge like right now, I'm like a seven on a perk. I might be a nine. You don't know, even you know. Like, I don't like this fucking guy. I, I, I mean, like I dated like this one guy for a little bit. I was seeing him, but like it was more like, uh, like. I mean, he would give me money all the time. Like, he would give me money, but, like... Was that, do you encounter a lot of sugar daddies? And they, I mean, they always come to question you. Like, they're like, yeah. hey, take care of you. And I'm like, I literally can take care of myself. Like, yeah. I don't Take care of myself. That's like a stripper thing. Hang on, the fuck up. You in here because you can't take care of yourself. It's not your real money. It's temporary. You're not gonna be hot forever. Take care of me, dude. It's fucking weird as shit. I'm like, I don't want you to take care of me. Like, you're fucking weird. But no, I started my seeing balls, him. Bitch. He got weird. Suck my uh, cock, bitch. I ended that, and then I started seeing another guy, and he actually had a girlfriend of like nine years. That you didn't know about? Not a clue. That was a bad one. Jesus. You didn't write nine him. nine years. No, I was only seeing him for like maybe like a month and a half, two months. But like, how'd you, how'd you find out? Uh, this girl I work with, she was like, oh, this girl followed me, and I clicked on her page, and he's just there. <laughs> Since In every 2013. Picture. Jesus. And I was like, no fucking way. And I was so fucking mad. It's hard like, out here for a pimp. I was like, I was like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit. I was like, I'm gonna act crazy, but like, I mean, like, I. Once you go find proof, I deleted the messages with him, so I didn't have any proof to, like, send the girl. So I just blocked his number and unfollowed him off of Instagram. And then um, I had someone else tell him, because I was like, I can't do it or I'm going to act crazy. Because, like, I just had the vibe that she was fucking weird. I just knew that she was I mean, weird. She no, she, because I had, she like... She can get cheated on for no, 10 I years. <laughs> a, a decade. <laughs> she in there a decade <laughs> deep. Weird, right? Yeah, it's to make you a little crazy, insecure. Would tell me like about his ex girlfriend and be like, oh, she's crazy. My ex girlfriend. He's literally the girlfriend that he's been dating for nine years. Yo, um, this, is this video sucks. <laughs> to sit there and be like, yo, my ex girlfriend is this, and that's just 
crazy. Sick, like, she, she's crazy. Oh she makes God. like she makes new numbers. She mm -hmm. call me when I block her. I, this, that, that. Have you had people cut you off because they realized find yeah. that a stripper? Never. No. Okay. People are like interested in it. Like yeah. I don't know if it's like a weird. I don't, man. I don't like the way this girl talks. Her mouth interactions with. I don't They're like it. Cool. They like the stories that they hear. It's a mouth, yeah. I mean, but it's like, I clearly, mean, you're on a podcast. I mean, I mean, guys Do you even have fake titties? Like, what are you? It's been around, Bendo. I am like, they I would like, marry you right like, now. Infatuated. Like, it's like, they just love it. Like, I don't uh, know if it's like, well, like, I can't have it, and that's why I want it. Probably like, novelty to it. I don't they don't really, aren't really infatuated in the moment. They'll fuck you, but nobody really wants to be with you. Don't get it twisted, girl. Like, I've been asked out on, like, so many dates by them, and I'm just like, I think this is <laughs> Especially in a strip club, believe it or not, people yeah. in strip clubs are horny. <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah, it's like you go there with your boys to like get fucking get all horny. Yeah, fucking put glue on the bottom of your shoes. Uh, I don't feel like an idiot. That is interesting though, because like that's, I'm glad Amber asked that because I was um, building up to that. I feel like I felt as if it would be hard because we talked about this um, probably like for three weeks. I got a straight. Nah, yeah, because we took a break. Yeah. For now, what? Strippers? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got to be careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't see it. Yeah. Yeah, um, no curse. But we've talked Wait, about. Just, I can't say it. These low lives of men. <laughs> um, and what are you, bro? But the reality of it is, is that there's a lot of men that are very, I guess, insecure in what they will do. Dude, you're like 120 pounds. So I was like, I was shocked that you would say like, um, oh, yeah, really gung ho for it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah. I mean, like I've encountered a lot of people that it's like they literally don't care what I do. Like they have the idea that like I'm sleeping with people. They think that like okay. my job is like I'm fucking people. Like yeah. that's not my job. Like, yeah. A lot of strippers do though. That's I mean, like, get yeah, a little exactly. Mixed up. There's, there's yeah. extras. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, there's people that do, but it's just like that's not on the menu. Like, yeah. But it's like they have the idea that I'm fucking. Up. I don't think any stripper admits that they do it. Like if there was one of the fucker strippers on this show, which she's probably one of them, she's gonna say the same thing she's saying. It's just not on the menu. I don't do it. Like no one's gonna say fucking like yeah. Well, the one of the girls I was just recently and she's like, and these panties never came off the top, came off. Like you're not gonna say. And I kind of believe her because she was just like she was like you know hot stripper. Like she always had a boyfriend. Like I know she was just doing it for the money. Like she was not a stripper stripper but maybe she didn't get paid for it but she dated some of these guys she went home with them basically the same thing and i believe she didn't like just fucking get paid for sex there cool but if she did she would never admit it and she's like an outside story any of the other ones that literally get paid to do it they're still gonna say the same thing as the ex i'm talking about these panties never came off her i never do that like you're never gonna admit it but if a guy you would fuck outside of it offered you 200 bucks to fuck you probably fuck him or you go home and fuck him stop lying like you probably do shit you at least do hand jobs for 500 like stop lying every girl says no other people and they're just like you can buy me a playstation you can buy me a playstation you can pay for this you can pay for that but it's like i'm not fucking paying for shit for you like, if you're my boyfriend, maybe, but I'm guessing, like, I'm you, I'm guessing you got a PlayStation. No, <laughs> That's no, not very no. specific. Are you just putting it out there in the ether? Put that ether? That's not me, Chief. That's not me, Chief. <laughs> I'm not a pay pig. What are they called? Oh, what are they called? oh shit. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's oh, shit. Like. You know, pay pigs? Say, I don't want to turn. I don't want to turn. Pay pigs, though, like, those ones are, like, mad easy. They're not even, like, sexual. It's literally, they just have to be demeaned at the ATM. Okay. It's like, man. Yeah, but they love it, though. It's Taxes like, is crazy. I know some, this is crazy. I actually heard stories of some dudes that are into being extorted. Horrible video. Don't watch it. We watched it together. Strippers suck. We know this. Quick little reaction. Pay late. Keep her amazed. Drop in the comments what you want more on the dating content and all the reaction content. Come on. Give me some feedback. It was a shitty video. Strippers suck. Don't date strippers ever. They suck. They're whores. And after that, not only are they intertwined with wanting money and things of that nature, just they're never the same. They've been fucking teased with money their whole life. They're never the same. An OnlyFans, stripper, anything that a girl has been put on a pedestal like she's a fucking queen will always treat you wrong because you're never doing enough because she's used to getting paid for a guy. So even if you're doing things for her, which she should be doing things for you, like in the relationship, now she always revert back to, even if she's cool in the beginning, that, you know, what are you doing? And this guy did more. And just remembering getting bought 
off things from someone that she didn't even sleep with and now a guy she's tossing that pussy and fucking ass on and now you're not really buying anything you're just fucking her and going to dinner that's not enough because guys are buying her playstations for no reason fuck strippers pay late keep her amazed fuck them DM me the word shred. Go on my Instagram. Click the link in the description. DM me the word shred of first day. First day for dating coaching. Shred for fitness coaching. Click the link in the bio for the newsletter. Subscribe to my newsletter. Or hit the IG. Just toss me a file. We're blowing the fuck up. The muscle architect. Ah.